Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be looking at the parrotfish. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. What's blue and red and green all over its lifespan? The parrotfish, because they actually change color, and even gender, as they mature. This trait led earlier scientists to believe there were hundreds of species of parrotfish. Nowadays, they guess there are somewhere around 80. When the way something looks is part of the way you classify it, but it changes the way it looks during its lifetime, one single fish species can appear to be many. One thing that doesn't change about the parrotfish is its beak-like mouth. A parrotfish has fused teeth that form what looks like a parrot's beak, hence the name. A parrotfish also has teeth in its throat, which are used for grinding. The main diet of a parrotfish consists of algae, but the way they obtain this food source is by literally chopping it off coral reefs. As in, they straight up eat coral. They would do the pioneers so proud. Actually though, as destructive as this may sound, they're a huge asset in the ecosystem of a coral reef. If left unchecked, algae growth could completely choke out a reef system. Plus, the parrotfish do a huge favor and help to create that silky, soft, white sand we love so much. Yes, you heard me right. Those beautiful beaches? Parrotfish poop. This is pretty cool, though. A large enough group of parrotfish could actually create an entire island if they had enough access to coral. As you've probably guessed, the parrotfish lives anywhere where a coral reef might be growing. They're diurnal animals, which means they're actually awake during the day, and at night they have a few means of hiding where they sleep. Some species will simply hide in the coral, finding small cracks and crevices. Others take to burrowing under the sand. The sand that they, um, oh never mind. And some species go so far as to create a cocoon for themselves every night from a mucus they produce specifically for this purpose. It's thought that the cocoon helps to make them less visible to predators and to mask the fish's scent. What is it with the show and snotty fish? The predators that they're hiding from are other fish, crustaceans, and even eels and sharks. Although I'm pretty sure if I were a shark, I'd steer clear of that mess. Parrotfish live in schools of around 40 to 50 individuals, typically led by a breeding male. Remember when I said earlier that the parrotfish can sometimes even change its gender? Well, this is where that comes into play. See, when the breeding male dies, he usually gets replaced by one of the females of the group. She will actually turn into a male, and they call these males super males, and become the school's next leader. It's a bit of a harem paradigm, but for the fish it seems to serve its purpose. For the types of parrotfish that school in this way, the male will individually reproduce with each of his females. Conversely, for the parrotfish types that don't do this, reproduction happens simply by many individuals releasing sperm and eggs at the top of the water column. It only takes 24 hours for the fertilized eggs to hatch, and the young take about two to four years to fully mature. They can grow up to four feet in length, depending on the species. Some species only live up to five years, while others can live over 20. There's a Polynesian myth about a giant parrotfish in the sky in relation to the Magellanic Clouds. The Magellanic Clouds are two galaxies always visible in the southern hemisphere, which the Polynesians used for navigation. The myth goes that a great chief had two sons who caused him a lot of trouble, so he sent them as a trick to fetch water from two pools. In one pool lived a man-eating duck, and in the other, a man-eating parrotfish. The boys returned with both the water and the animals from each pool. Their father, tired of their games, banished them, and they fled to the sky, each with one of the animals, to become the Magellanic Clouds. In this way, their father would always see them when he looked up into the night sky. This is actually kind of significant, though, because parrotfish used to be considered a royal meal, fit only for the king. It makes sense they would include one in one of their myths. For more information on the parrotfish, feel free to browse through my citations in the description below. Let me know which animal you'd like to see next in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.